Well, hello guys. At the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for, we've begun the process of restoring a beer sock in the uh, mobile directo air raid siren, the Wisconsin VF4 in it. For people that don't know already, this came from Milwaukee's old system. It was on a building near the Allen Bradley site in downtown Milwaukee. We're pretty sure the Greed Foundry building for it was torn down. Saved from the scrap heap, right before we were going to blow the building down in a few days, they, one of the operating engineers, who's my friend, took the machine down and uh, took it home with him. It was in pretty rough shape, but uh, we were able to save it. And now, what, almost 15 years later, we've really begun really a good part of the restoration. He did start on it. He did uh, get the engine degreased, the block anyways. He did get the rotator and the rotator base set. Other than that, I've pretty much done everything else in the past little bit. But uh, it's, it's really coming along. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten pretty much all the tins sandblasted. Repainted Rust-Oleum Regal Red. Brand new Wisconsin decal. Original number plate, original ammeter, and that little plug, which uh, did come from uh, Beer Sock and Anderbar, just like that. So I just figured I'd show you just kind of how it looks like. So you have the clutch bell housing, stator plate, and the stator mounts on top of here. Chopper goes onto the centrifugal clutch. And that's it's a pretty simple machine. There really isn't much to it. Rotator, of course, you have the drive belt that comes off the motor right there. Goes down to the rotator input shaft. I, I haven't taken it apart, but I'm pretty sure it's a worm gear system in here. And it does have high-low. You can see this is the position for high and low. 